number one. Welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. So I found my my trusty pH test meter, and so I'm going to test the pH to see if that's the problem in the new duckweed pit. Now this water right here is being pumped directly out of that pit, and so any reading below six is going to be a bad thing. Because below six would be too way too acidic. And we're right at 8.5. So the pH is just about perfect. So it's not a pH problem. So we've been circulating the water about um, uh, I don't know, 36 hours. You can see by the uh, the greenish tint to this water that this is the water coming out of the the new duckweed pond via the tilapia pond. So it's not a pH problem. It won't be an oxygen. It won't be a uh, an oxygenation problem because all this, all the water that's being circulated through it, is being aerated. In every one of these tanks, there's aeration, and there's aeration in both of these round tanks. People have suggested putting aeration in it. Well, it already has aeration because the water being circulated through it is aerated. So it's not a pH problem. It's not an aeration problem. Uh, someone, Delta Dawn or something, had had thought that that the the pond water was was uh, turpid. I think he called it that. The sunlight wasn't able to <laughs> penetrate through the water. Uh, it's just I don't know. It's hard to. It's hard for I don't know if people don't fully watch the videos or if they just don't get it or what. Uh, this duckweed floats on the surface. The top sixteenth of an inch is where the duckweed lives. It doesn't matter if the sunlight reaches the water underneath or the ground at the or the soil at the bottom. It's just 100% irrelevant. He made a couple other points, but by that time I kind of lost interest in his comment because it just didn't make any sense to me. So I don't remember exactly what the rest of it was, but it's it's uh, not a uh, turbidity problem. So, I don't know, hopefully circulating this water through will do the trick. Can't hurt any. Why not? And we do have some other things going on this morning. In about an hour I'm going to call uh, Tatai and e-boy and we're going to check these breeder tanks and if there's no fry in them then I'm going to stop wasting my time on breeder tanks up here because it's been six weeks and we've gotten 54 I think fry so if there's no uh, fry in any of these tanks and we're going to check the females too uh, to see if they're carrying eggs. Uh, so, uh, a double thing. If there's no fry, number one, and number two, if none of them are carrying eggs, then the females are going to go back into this for sale tank, and the males, the first batch of males, well, all these breeding males, so there will be eight of them, 
they're going to go into that round tank right there where there are where there are no fish to keep the tadpoles at bay and um, I haven't added any fish to the uh, the new duckweed pond yet because if it doesn't get nice and green and beautiful in the next couple days by, by, like by well I'd say in the next week if it doesn't if circulating this water through uh, the tanks doesn't improve the duckweed situation then we have no choice we're gonna have to drain that pond and uh, put a tarp liner in it so you know uh, that's the that's the next option Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it and see how things go but we're getting so many fry and well we're getting so many fingerlings out of the pond I actually told Top Tide to stop bringing them up because uh, we've gotten like 1200 now uh, between these two tanks here and I don't want to uh, I don't want to overcrowd them so I told him to just stop and he's brought and he's he's also caught maybe I don't know 30 or 40 uh, large fish and put them in here and we still have that he put that large net in we still have to pull that up so um, that just may be our path forward is getting our fingerlings out of the pond just letting the fish naturally propagate in the pond and uh, continually harvesting them and putting them in these tanks rather than having these dedicated uh, breeding tanks which you know they worked before when we had them before they worked but now they're not I don't know why and I'm tired of scratching my head trying to figure out why it just, just uh, if it's if the problem is easy, easily solved in a different way then why fight it so uh, we'll be checking these and if there's no uh, if there's no fry or fingerlings in any of these then they're going to be uh, repurposed what are you doing little puppy hmm what are you guys doing hmm oh hey little puppies who doesn't love little puppies? Alrighty, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.